Now, when you look at the currency pairs quoted in the market, you see that they are quoted using the bid and ask. As we have already mentioned, bid is the rate the dealer buys and ask is the rate the dealer sells. Another way to construct the cross rate, therefore, would be to use the bid and ask rate of each pair in the market and derive the rate for the cross pair. Now, let's take an example of the same example of EUR CAD. Let's begin calculating the bid rate, that is the rate at which the price maker or the dealer buys EUR CAD. Now, in order to buy EUR and sell CAD at an X rate, we would need to know at what rate we can sell EUR by CAD to square our position in the FX market. To work out this cross rate, we need to break it down into two steps. So the first step is we sell EUR by USD. Since we don't have the direct currency pair traded EUR CAD, we sell EUR and buy USD. We can do that at the market bid rate for EUR USD. Now that works out to 1.0987. The next step, now that we have the US dollar, would be to sell the US dollar and buy the Canadian dollar. So now, in effect, we are square on the US dollar. And we can do this at the market bid rate for USD CAD at 1.3630. So in effect, we get 1.0987 into 1.3630 equals 1.4975. Now this becomes the ceiling on our bid price. If we bid anything higher than this, we would make a loss at the current market rates. Because in effect, we can only sell at this rate in the market by constructing the cross So similarly, to derive the ask rate, uh, the rate at which we can sell EURCAD. So we can break this down into two steps, similar to what we've done before with the bid rate on EURCAD. So if we sell EUR and buy CAD, we would now need to cover the Euro short position and the Canadian long position. We could do that at the market rates. So the first step would be to buy EUR and sell USD at 1.0989, which is the ask rate. Now remember, since we are the price takers at this point, we would buy at a higher price. So the price taker buys at a higher price and sells at a lower price, whereas the price maker buys low, sells high. So the second step would be, now that we are short USD, we need to cover 1.0989 USD. And since we buy 1 USD at and sell Canadian at 1.3632, we can buy 1.0989 USD at 1.0989 into 1.3632 to give us a rate of 1.4980. Now this becomes the ask rate and it's the ask flow rate. If we sell below this rate, it would be difficult for us to make any money from this deal at the current prices. Unless the prices move, of course. So the bid rate would be lower than the rate at which you would construct a sale. That is 1.4975 and your ask rate would be higher than the rate at which you could construct your buy, which is 1.4980. Now you could quote anywhere between 1.4973 and 82 for a cross rate. Just an example. So this is only an illustration on how you could construct a cross rate using the bid ask quotes from the market. In reality, no one would hit you on a 9 pip spread you need to quote at least a 2-pip or a 3-pip spread. And we will show how dealers actually quote in the FX markets and how that forms price ticks in you, that you see in your price charts in later sessions. So we are here only to focus on the basic math to get you familiar with the bid-ask and bid-ask spread.